your head comes down to your knees. From here, you can extend one leg long if you'd like, and then the other alternating, opening up through your hamstrings, breathing. Come back to both bent knees, then inhale, rise all the way back up. And keeping your core tight here, so this is a little bit of core work. We're gonna take the legs, fold them underneath you, Indian style, then take your hands, plant them right below your shoulders, coming to a tabletop position. Push your glutes back onto your heels for big toe squats. So just take your toes right underneath. We've been here before many times, right? So you're just sitting back on your heels, getting that little bit of a toe stretch right here. I know that always feels really good. It doesn't feel good for me. And that's why you need it. I know. So from here, inhale to standing on your knees. Untuck your toes. And then exhale, take a side bend over to the right. Inhale back to center. And exhale, side bend over to the left. Inhale back to center. And from here, with your core, Tuck your toes back under and sink back down onto your heels for that big toe squat again. Keeping your core nice and tight. And then as you exhale, come to tabletop position. From here, cross your legs in that Indian style again. Sink back onto your glutes, extend your legs out long. Lift your arms up over your head. We're gonna go through that again one more time. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, forward fold with a flat back, only as far as you can go. Inhale, rise back up. And exhale, forward fold, flat back. Inhale, rise back up. This time as you forward fold, allow yourself to go all the way down with a flat back or once you get there, allow your head to go heavy. You can bend your knees here if you want. Maybe alternate them just a little bit. Take one more inhale, and one more exhale here. Inhale, rise all the way back up. Again, this takes some core work. Cross your legs, and then plant your hands on the mat. Coming to tabletop position, we're adding on. Inhale, lift your right arm up to the ceiling, and exhale, thread the needle, but we're not staying here. Inhale, lift the arm back up. We're doing that one more time. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, rise back up. And exhale, tabletop. We're gonna do it on the other side. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Exhale, thread underneath. Inhale, lift. And exhale, thread. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, tabletop position. Sink onto that big toe squat one more time. So sink back onto your heels. Stretch out through your toes. Oh yeah, smile it feels good. Smile through it. Lift up your arms, use your core, use your glutes. Come up to standing on your knees. Untuck your toes. Inhale, side bend over to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend over to the left. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, use your core. Tuck your toes, take that big toe squat one more time. And exhale back to tabletop. We're adding on one more thing. Untuck your toes. We're gonna do a little cat and pow right, right before we leave this. So inhale, pow pose. Drop your belly. Exhale, cat round through your spine. Inhale, moving your breath, your movement. And cat. We'll just do two more. Okay, Missy? Okay. And exhale. One more. And then we'll meet back. Neutral tabletop. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Our first downward facing dog. So if you'd like, you can pedal out your feet here a little bit. We've opened up the hamstrings a lot. So they should feel nice and flat. Really open. So we're just going to move right into it. Inhale, raise your right leg up, but keep that toe flexed. 
Maybe dial your right hip down to the mat. Lifting up the heel a little higher. Then exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Shift your weight forward. Inhale, lift the leg back high. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Lift the leg back high. Listen for the change. Bring your knee to your nose. Hold. Cupcake the right palm just a little bit. Then step your foot through. It's okay if it doesn't to just kind of shimmy the foot up there just a little bit. Inhale, warrior two. Spin the back foot down. We're going to open all the way up. Then exhale, back to low lunge. There you go. You got it. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, easy twist. Plant your left palm down. Lift your right palm up to the ceiling. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Step it back. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to do it on the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, knee to your nose. Lift the left leg up high. Exhale, knee to your nose. So you're pushing forward. Lift the leg up high. Listen for the change as you draw your knee to your chest. Shift forward. Press the lock of the ball of your back foot. Cupcake up your left palm. Then step the left leg through. Inhale, warrior two. Spin your back foot down. First open. Exhale, low lunge. Cartwheel back down. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, low lunge. We're adding on. Inhale, easy twist. Plant into your right palm. Lift your left palm up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. So we're going to do that whole thing one more time, all right? All right. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, knee to your nose. Lift your leg up high. Draw your knee to your nose. Inhale, lift the leg up high. Exhale, knee to the nose. Hold. Cupcake the right palm. Step it through. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Inhale with the left leg high. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift up even higher. Exhale, knee to nose, pause. Cupcake up the left palm. Step the leg through. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Use the core. Exhale, downward facing dog. So now we're going to change it up. Listen new. So we won't do that three beginning. We're just going to do it once. So inhale, raise the right leg high. Exhale, step it through. Low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. So arms go over the head. Push a lot to your back toe. Maybe even draw the left hip up in line with the right. Take one more breath. Then exhale, first draw your hands to your heart center. For revolved crescent lunge, shift forward. Then bring your elbow to the outside of your thigh. Squeeze a lot through your inner thigh. Really think about sending twisting through your entire back here. Press a lot through your back toe. Inhale, gently back to crescent lunge. Whoop, yep, that's not easy. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale to high crescent lunge. So the key with going back to crescent lunge is really squeezing the inner thighs a lot. Mm -hmm. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. While you take off your sweaty That's all right. Inhale, shift the crown of your head forward first. Really think, Sorry. lifting up your core and your chest, pushing a lot through 
your back toe to help keep your chest lifted as you twist. But I really think you have to press a lot through the back toe, squeeze a lot through the inner thighs. The inhale, back to crescent, that's where it's key to really squeeze a lot there. Then exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. So we're gonna change that up just a little bit. Inhale, raise the right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. We're going in to a tap with this twist. So as you exhale, draw your hands to your heart center. Just do a tap, crescent lunge, twist and tap, crescent lunge. One more time, we twist, crescent, well done, low lunge. Step it back to your flank, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, revolve tap. We twist, lift up, twist, squeeze. Yes. Last one. And all the way down. Woo. Come to your high plank. Downward facing dog. So this is the finale of all three. We're going to bind everything together. So we're going to come back though to a longer beginning. So inhale, lift the leg up high. Exhale, knee to your nose. Lift the leg up high. Draw your knee to your nose. Lift the leg up high. We pause and hold. Cupcake up the right palm. Step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, revolve, crescent lunge. Inhale, warrior two, so spin all the way open. Exhale, low lunge with an easy twist. So plant the palm down, lift the right up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, you got that, right? I got it. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Lift the left leg high. Draw all the way forward, leg high. We pause and hold here, use the core, cup take the left palm, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, revolve, crescent lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, low lunge with an easy twist. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Should we flow that one more time? Yes. Sure. We won't do, we'll just do it with no uh, long step through. We're just gonna lift the right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, revolve. Inhale, warrior two. Whoops. Exhale, low lunge, easy twist. There you go. Step it down, high plank. We come downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, revolve. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, low lunge with an easy twist. Bring it down to your low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in and big oh. breath out. Inhale, look to the top of your mat and then we're just coming to a high plank. From here, press weight into your right palm. We're opening up to a side plank. Lift your hips up, use your core, then exhale back to a high plank. From here, lower to your knees, and then we're going right to our bellies, untuck your toes, lower all the way down to your mat. We're starting with a little cobra, so just <laughs> peel your chest up just a little. As I wipe all the sweat off my That's face. That's okay, sweat's mm -hmm. all good. Yes, it is good. And then exhale down. Oh. Moving into seal pose. Spread your legs out, hip width distance apart. Hands stay right at the shoulders. We're gonna lift up to the count of four. We're gonna inhale, one, two, three, four, and lower, four, three, two, one. Bring your legs back a little bit for floor bow. Kick your feet into your glutes. Reach for the outside edges of your feet. We inhale, kick your feet into your hands. 
I like to keep my head lower down and focus more on the glutes and the legs. Then exhale, lower everything back down. Press your palms in the mat. Push yourself through a table to modify child's pose. Inhale, rise back up, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to do the same thing with the other side. Inhale, shift forward, coming into a high plank. Then lower to your knees, untuck your toes like a very graceful ocean wave. Allow yourself just to lower all the way down. Can you imagine the right foot up the side plank? Yep. So again, lifting your chest back up like an ocean wave in reverse, coming to table, then back to a high plank because I'm not skipping it. Shift weight into your left palm, open up side plank. <laughs> I fixed that problem. And then come back to high plank. Now lower to your knees, Yay. untuck your toes and lower it down like a gentle ocean wave. <laughs> First, we start with that gentle cobra, lifting up, and then exhale, lower down. Moving into seal pose, spreading your toes out, planting your palms, we lift up for one, two, three, four. Lowering for four, three, two, and one. For floor bow, you can go there, or if you'd like to, you can take another seal or baby cobra. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna take another seal pose here while Missy goes in the floor bow. And then we release everything back down gently, like a reverse ocean wave, pushing up through table into modified child's pose. Coming through modified child's pose up to table, tuck your toes downward, facing dog. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel all the way up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up one leg mountain pose. So we're going to lift the right leg up. Just parallel your foot to the mat. There you go. Exhale for twisted root. You're going to plant your toes, so your pinky toes kind of touch together here. And then exhale, as you draw your hands through your heart center, we forward fold, getting a nice glute stretch. Just let your head hang heavy here. And breathe. Take one more breath in. And one more breath out. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, releasing back to that one leg mountain pose. Lift your right leg up, bring your hands to heart center, both feet come to the mat. Inhale, lift your left leg up for one leg mountain pose this time. Exhale, twisted root on the other side. So big, like little pinky toes touching there. There you go. Then exhale, draw your hands to your heart center as we forward fold all the way down, getting a glute stretch on the other side. And just breathing here, letting your head relax, let your hands relax. One big breath in, and one breath out. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising all the way back, lift your left leg up this time, release it down. We draw the hands to heart center. Inhale, lift up, mountain pose one last time. This new pose, Missy doesn't know. Take your arms, wrap them around your body, and I call this hug yourself pose. Hug yourself. Then give yourself the biggest hug. You get oh, yeah. You, you, can get even, you can even drop yeah. around a little bit. Maybe Pat yourself. get some motion in that hug. Mm, whatever feels good. You did it. Yes. Yay. That, that was it. So I like that new posture, right? I like it too. That was a good posture. I mean, that was a good sequence, right? Like, uh -huh. you still feel like, I feel like you worked really hard. I don't, we didn't add any um, postures that haven't been done before, right? right? We had warrior two, crescent lunge, yep. revolve crescent lunge, an easy twist. But in the order that we're in, everything else, was we've done everything. Yes. It was just in a way that made it a little more challenging uh, and gave you a good workout, but you really, whenever you do this, focusing on pulling up, using your core, that makes all the difference. So yoga is not have to be about the postures, right? Achieving certain postures. We just did an entire sequence 
without having a specific peak posture or difficult posture. And we worked every single part of our body. But it was yoga. We yes. practiced and I feel good. I feel I amazing. feel ready to face the day, any of life's challenges. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like my blood's going. It's about how you can think and how you can feel. And that's why we want to bring this to you. You know, anything you want from us, we want to bring that for you. So thank yes. you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Namaste. Namaste.